Mike, I've been to this wonderful facility two or three times now, but it's all kind of it's all about today, isn't it? This is the official opening. Absolutely, it's come together today. Now, you know, we've uh, we moved here, relocated over Easter, and now this is the icing on the cake, really. Get all the customers, all the partners, all the suppliers that have been part of this big event. And today's the day. How many people can we expect? In excess of 200. You know, we thought we'd be 180, 200, but yes, it's exceeded our expectations. So we're really pleased. And in terms of the partners, what partners do you have? Well, the partners, they start from initially the, the, the bank and the guidance to who, where, where we should relocate to. Birmingham City Council have done a stupendous job in securing us here. Finance Birmingham, Marketing Birmingham, our architects, our builders, construction team, GVA, the list is endless, it really goes on. So it's not just about plant and equipment, it's about the infrastructure and everything else. That's right, it's making sure that the name manufacturing is understood by local councils and they, they can allocate land for this sort of purpose. That's what they've done. And I know this has been the plan is that you've been at going quite some time now, you promote it's quite a small UK part of the business, but now it's huge. Oh yeah, we've come from something which is minute compared to this really. You know, we've come from 18,000 square feet to 55,000 square feet, and we've got 30,000 square feet to extend to in the future. So we're really, really well set up here in Birmingham to expand, to give a local source of uh, products, uh, capacity increase, capability, and more importantly, our enthusiasm increased. And just to top it, I know you're looking at apprentices and increasing the workforce as well. Yeah, at the moment we've got nearly 80 people in the company, we're going to increase that to 125 over the next five years and seek in apprentices as many as we can possibly get. How have Lloyds Bank helped Goering along their journey? So Goering's journey um, here, we've, we've, they've been clients of ours for about 25 years now, since the early 1990s. And uh, I'm delighted that we've been able to help them both financially uh, in terms of actually helping them um, relocate into these fantastic premises, uh, but also with their investment into plant and machinery to help drive productivity. And with productivity is growth. Absolutely. Well, we all know how important productivity is uh, to the, uh, the growth of the UK economy and, uh, and living standards in the long term. And we've faced into a fairly significant productivity puzzle over the last few years. And, um, and therefore, what we see Goering doing, investing in plant, investing in machinery, investing in people, uh, is absolutely critical. And uh, we just need more businesses to do exactly what they're doing. And I know Lloyd, you're heavily in manufacturing, aren't you? We are. We're, uh, we've been supporting uh, the manufacturing sector heavily since I had the privilege to create, uh, launch and then lead uh, a national strategy to support Britain's makers. So we train our relationship managers through the University of Warwick and the Warwick Manufacturing Group to understand the sector. We've made some clear public pledges to support the sector. Um, uh, four billion pounds of new lending investment over four years, which I'm delighted to say we've uh, now delivered eight months early, uh, but we'll continue to do more. Uh, and of course, the skills, which is a common challenge to the sector. We've invested five million pounds at the Manufacturing Technology Centre's Advanced Manufacturing Training Centre to help bring out around a thousand trained manufacturing engineers, apprentices and graduates out into industry, out into local SMEs uh, by 2020. James, we're here at this wonderful Goering Open event here in Aston, in Birmingham. I know they're an MTA member, aren't they? So it's great news. It's fantastic news. Um, what more could we want than uh, members showing how important investment is, not just in equipment to improve productivity, because you can see all the automation in action here, but also their massive commitment to apprentices. If you walk around here, you see people who are engaged, they want to be here, and that is why this. I'm very confident that uh, Goring will continue to grow in this area and be even more important. And how about your other members? Are you seeing similar trends? We do see similar trends actually, but it, we just wish it was accelerated. So the ones that are super performing have been doing this like Goring for a while, and we are hoping that, that these continue to serve as a fantastic example to everybody else.